Hey guys, Yig here. Today I'm going to be playing some Guiana Sisters Twisted Dreams. Uh, this is a platformer. It's uh, I'll kind of tell, tell you about it as I go. Um, I played a couple levels just to get familiar with the controls and the, everything. It's not too bad. So, here's your cutscene. Must chase her and save her. So, as you see, there's one, four, I did the first three. Here we go. And first thing you'll probably notice is very distinctive art style. Really good looking game. Very distinctive art style. Uh, which is really nice. And, you know, its core feature is not enabled at the moment. And that, right in the beginning, you get the little intro area here. Some basic platforming. Very nice levels. Just tons of details everywhere. And of course, your usual Mario Goomba stuff. I like the little signs. Little signs are nice. It's a nice touch. Alright. Okay. Oh, oh. Almost missed that jump. So, the beginning intro part here is very straightforward. Oh, there we go. Hey, there's our sister. What are you doing with her? Okay. Alright. Now's the part where they give you the key feature of the game. And that is, you can... Change back and forth between the two sisters. Which allows for things like that, that change, opens gates, uh, changes the environment. So you see like the mushrooms in the background and the little castle in the background, everything. The whole, you know, there's, what, I think three, three or four layers that change every time you change. Um, to varying degrees. You know. Interestingly enough, though, I, I'm noticing the... Um, I hadn't really paid much attention to that part before, but the uh, sort of punk rock sister gets the nice sweet world while the uh, the blonde cheerleader type girl gets the gets the uh, the spooky realm. It's kind of interesting. So they each have their own powers. Each form does. So this one is a little fireball thing you can do. And the other one I will be using here in just a moment. The other one is a spin. So she sp spins and she can fly some. Oh, didn't quite make that. Oh, button. oh. watch me do badly. Or just jump like a rational person and I try to be tricky about it. You know. There is that. <sighs> Since there's not really a score, there's no real point in killing these guys. So for the most part, if you can avoid them, if they're not in your way, just ignore them. They're, you know. At least from what I've seen so far, I haven't seen any purpose in killing them. They've made the... And I think that's kind of an interesting feature, actually. Um, is they made it very intentional that you weren't, um, your score wasn't determined by your ability to jump on things' heads. You know, obviously Mario has a small amount of that, and uh, last time I was there, I went down this. You can move the camera with the other stick, by the way. And uh, it's very easy. Sometimes, especially in a game like this, where backtracking is sometimes going to be featured... You know, it's like, oh, hey, there's stuff here. Ooh, super pistol. Alright, and that looks like it is the level. 
So that's the first level, and I think that's actually going to take care of that. I think I'll do one each world in, the, in its own video as I uh, go through these, and then I'm not going to guarantee perfect results, but so. That's going to take care of this first episode of this, uh, World 1-1, one, one, and we'll go through and do all the individual worlds, and if some of them are shorter, we'll divide them up, you know, maybe two in, in an episode for that one. But, I thank you guys for watching, hope you come back to watch the next episode, and have a great day everyone.